Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. In this episode, I'm going to be giving a cost comparison between Biogen's drug Spinraza and Avexis's drug that they call Zolgen SMA. There's a lot of talk on the internet regarding how much Zolgen SMA is going to cost once it becomes the second approved treatment for those of us suffering from spinal muscular atrophy. Whether or not insurance companies are going to agree to pay for it since it's a one-time injection, all of these questions will need to be answered through the medical community, and I think the answers that we're going to receive should give us the hope that we've been looking for for a long time. So please, watch the video that I did, and afterwards I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Thank you. When Biogen and Ionis Pharmaceuticals created Spinraza, everyone was nervous with regards to the price of this new treatment and whether or not insurance companies would agree to pay for it. Now that Avexis Pharmaceuticals has taken their drug, AVXS-101, now known as Zolgen SMA, to the FDA for final approval to make their drug the second approved treatment for SMA. Talk once again centers around the cost of this proposed treatment. I would like to take a few minutes to compare the cost differences between Spinraza and Zolgen SMA and give you my thoughts regarding the whole cost controversy. When the media learned about Spinraza in 2017, instead of focusing on the benefits of this treatment, the media went into a full-fledged witch hunt and began damning Biogen in the court of public opinion, since most of the news articles revolved around the exorbitant cost of the treatment. This, in my opinion, put Biogen in a negative light, forcing them to justify the cost versus the benefits that this treatment could have on those of us who suffer from SMA. Now that Avexis Pharmaceuticals will probably be introducing their treatment, Zolgen SMA, as an approved treatment, they too are now finding themselves having to defend the cost of the treatment versus talking about the potential benefits. In the chart that you're viewing on your screen, I'm going to do a cost comparison between Biogen's drug Spinraza and Avexis's drug AVXS-101, now known as Zolgen SMA. There's a lot of confusion regarding the cost of these treatments, and I wanted to show you these numbers in a chart format so that it would make it easier for you to understand the cost differences between these two individual treatments. The estimated cost for the first year of Biogen's drug Spinraza is approximately $750,000. This first year includes four loading dose injections given over a 10-week period, along with the first three maintenance dose injections. If you were to break this down by cost, these seven injections would equate to around $107,143 each. After the first year, patients will receive three maintenance dose injections per year, one every four months for the rest of your life. The cost of these three maintenance dose injections per year is approximately $375,000. If you were to break this down by cost, these three injections equate to $125,000 each. The estimated cost for Avexis's drug, Zolgen SMA, is approximately $4 million. At the present time, this is a single dose injection. While this $4 million price tag for Zolgen SMA seems high, for patients taking Spinraza, the total cost associated with this treatment after 11 years would equate to $4,125,000. This total includes 10 years of maintenance dose injections at a cost of $3,375,000, plus the first year cost of $750,000. The court of public opinion has already started influencing the public based off initial figures from Avexis Pharmaceuticals regarding the potential cost of their treatment, Zolgen SMA. The question, in everybody's mind, is whether or not insurance companies will agree to pick up the one-time cost of $4 million versus the lower cost from Biogen for their drug Spinraza. My opinion to those of you that are watching this video would be not to be concerned about the cost. We were all nervous when Spinraza became the first FDA-approved treatment for SMA, and the majority of us are now on active treatment with Spinraza. While there will definitely be hurdles that we will face regarding Avexis Pharmaceuticals treatment, I personally think that once all the data comes out and insurance companies have had time to review this data, those needing this treatment will probably have access to it. The only other question that needs to be answered will be if those of us that are on active treatment with Spinraza will be able to take the treatment from Avexis Pharmaceuticals. Combination therapies are not necessarily new to the medical community, but they are new to those of us with SMA. This question, regarding a combination therapy of Spinraza and Zolgen SMA, will have to be answered by the medical professionals, and in my opinion, 
It's going to have to be a question that gets answered relatively soon. Three years ago, we had no treatment options. Now, in the not-so-distant future, we'll have two treatment options. Keep a positive attitude and keep a smile on your face because all of these questions will be answered and I believe that the answers that we will receive will forever change our lives. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the cost comparison video that I did and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. Remember, there was a lot of controversy when Biogen introduced Spinraza regarding the cost and whether or not insurance companies would pick up the cost for this treatment. And these same questions are gonna to have to be answered and I do believe that these answers will be coming in the not so distant future. We have a lot to look forward to, so keep a smile on your face. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Morale and Monologue. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that we produce. We at SMA News Today hope everyone's had a fantastic day. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.